yeah. security, uh, yeah. stability, and knowing that we all got to get old. Even well, did you know that if you give a damn about other people, you can actually make money from that? Right? The company that cares the most makes the most. They got to get old too. So this is a forever business. You know, it's, a, it's always going to be in high demand. Business model makes sense. The business model makes money, and the business model has future security through any recession. Let's go so, make a generational wealth for my kids. To you doing your OnlyFans game, you're evil. If you are robbing people, you're evil. If you scamming people, you evil. But if you start a home care services business, you can get rich and wealthy, and God won't have a problem with that because you're. So most of you guys are broke because you're business models require you to be pretty selfish. Well, today I have an interview with a young lady. She's part of a partnership. It's a two-person ownership uh, team, and they do home care services, which is known as PAS in Texas. And she's going to show you guys how to start your own home care services business. Now, you're definitely going to want to stick around because we're going to get into some juicy questions and she's going to give us truthful answers based off of her real life experience. Nothing here will be made up or, or, or taken away or anything, guys. So the goal is for you guys to walk away from this interview with a full-fledged business model that you can implement and start making money from and helping the community out. Because a lot of you guys got elders, you know, pretty much everybody in here has older people in their family. And a lot of you guys take care of them because you give a damn about them, right? Well, did you know that if you give a damn about other people, you can actually make money from that, right? The company that cares the most makes the most. So this is a perfect business for any of you guys out there that has a heart. So I'm going to let you go ahead and introduce yourself. Go ahead. My name is Penny Harris, and I'm one of the owners of Georgia Need Care Home Care Services located in a town called uh, Kingwood, Texas. So we need to know what inspired you to start off in home care services. Like you could have started any other business model. What made you want to go into this? What made me want to start my own home care service? Um, I was inspired to get into the healthcare field by my mom and my grandmother. My mom used to uh, work as a CNA and a CMA, which is a certified medical assistant and or tech. She used to take her elderly people. And she also had her own little side hustle for us running her own home. Uh, my granny uh, moved with us like at 12 when I was 12 years old. And uh, my mom started taking care of her. And I started helping my mom. My mom had to go to work. So I used to have to do stuff, certain stuff for my grandmother. And when I uh, when my granny moved out on her own, uh, I was 15 and I used to catch the bus over there to take her, my granny, make sure she take her medicine. I used to write letters for her. So that became a passion for me. And I started uh, loving what to take care of the elderly. And I used to ask my mom, you know, can I do this? Can I do that? And she also used to let me do it because, you know, one day that I was going to eventually be in the field. Okay. So she pretty much were being, you were being groomed for this. Okay. So that leads yes. us straight into the, like the second question then. So like, can you share some moments um, that showcase the fulfilling aspects of running this type of business, a home care service? Like, how does it fulfill you? Um, it, it brings me uh, joy to be able to make a, the elderly or disabled happy. And mostly some of the ones that don't have families. Uh, I have ran into, uh, been in the field since 2008 when I had got certified as a, a, a CNA. I have ran into a lot of elderly people that didn't have family and which grown on me. And they tell you not to get attached, but it's hard to get attached when it become your passion. Exactly. So they grew on me. And over the years, I have many people that I attach myself, especially in the business now, uh, where we get our clients, all our clients feel like family. They always, they feel like family. We don't, we're not strangers. And as the owners, we also goes to their house and they see us. We just don't send employees over there and we never see them, but we actually okay. see them. And I actually do want to work with them because that's my passion. Mm. OK. All right, guys. So for those of you who uh, uh, are like standoffish and just want to do things from behind the computer and everything, you know, there's ways for you to do that. But it's certain people like her that like to be a, a little bit more hands on and stuff. So that would be a huge benefit for you guys that actually want to get out into the community and help the people that uh, uh, that you're you're working with. These are your clients and everything. And you want to make sure they're comfortable and everything. So so this is awesome. And uh, hey, guys. Like this isn't going to be for everybody. You can make a lot of money in this industry right here. This is one that's near and dear to her heart. And she wants to help you guys build a profitable business. But you need to have a heart first. OK, so we'll go jump into the next part. It says, um, in your honest opinion, what are the key advantages of starting a home care service business 
compared to other types of business? Because you could have started any other type of business. What's the advantage of this one for you personally? Um, I would say uh, the uh, growing market demand, which with the aging population, with uh, we all got to get old and we're going to continue to get old. So uh, you want, you know, in this field, you want to be able to have like a stable, like a, a stable and growing market uh, yeah. for your business. You want to have security. Yeah. Security, uh, stability. Yeah. And knowing that we all got to get old, even when the kid, even when having kids, they got to get old too. So this is a forever business, you know, it's, a, it's always going to be in high demand. I like that. The forever business that might be on the thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> the forever <laughs> business, right? Because you're right. You know, like we're all going to get old, you know what I'm saying? Soon you'll pass the business down to, to your children. And, and that's the, that's the goal. Part. Make a generational wealth for my kids to, you know, to get passed on. Hopefully they have the passion that I have for us because yeah. I would want somebody to take care of it like I take care of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Um, it's super awesome. I, and, and that's why I wanted to bring you on here for this one in particular because y'all, hey, she she has a wealth of knowledge. She has multiple businesses, which you guys will learn about when I bring her on here again. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Do a Jet Li sidekick to the subscription button right now. Uh, <laughs> like She has other businesses, but we wanted to tackle this one first because like this one is, in my honest opinion, is the most important one. Uh, um, you know, you want to tell them what other businesses you have? Yes, I also have um, a cleaning service and I also have an online boutique, which is growing into uh, we're going to do bridal. So we'll try to get a storefront for like bridal so people can come and try on dresses and rent dresses, tuxedos and stuff like that for they uh, for they wedding. So she's not a new Jack, y'all. She's out here making moves and everything. So for those of you who are like, oh. Uh, this is just some uh, home care services chick and that's that's all she does and all of that. No, like she has a lot of other business ventures that she's into. Uh, but this is the one that we wanted to focus on right now to help you guys, because this one can give you fulfillment. Money by itself is not going to give you happiness. Like but once you get used to everything, your brand new phone is super exciting for about two months. Uh, your new fresh pair of shoes is cool until you go to the club with them. Now, tomorrow, you don't even want to go outside with them. Like that's how money is too. Once you buy everything, you're going to feel hollow and empty inside. So guys, this, I strongly suggest you guys to get coaching with her. She's going to have a coaching session, super cheap, 97 bucks in the pin comment where she's, her and her partner are going to spend an entire uh, 30 to an hour with you guys, like breaking down the steps, step by step, step by step, you going and getting everything you need to actually go and start this up on your own. And then she'll have opportunity for you guys to join a private community as well. So keep watching guys, because this is a real legitimate business. A lot of you guys are, are you just hopping from video to video, looking at business model to business model. And all of these online only people uh, don't have any experience in real actual business like she does. So that's why I wanted to bring her on here. My job is to bring you guys treats. <laughs> I'm Candyman. You hear me? No. Uh, but my job is to bring you guys people, even if it's not me, that can help you change your own life. And a home care services business is a great start for any one of you guys watching this that can that want to scale up and actually have uh, uh, scale up, make good money without guilt. Cause you know, it's not money. That's the root of all evil. It's the love of money. That's the root of all evil. So if you would do whatever for the bag, then you're evil. It's not the money. That's the problem. If you doing your only fans game, you're evil. If you out robbing people, you're evil. If you scamming people, you evil. But if you start a home care services business, you can get rich and wealthy and God won't have a problem with that because you're constantly being a cheerful giver with your services, with your business, helping people in their elderly ages. You understand? Okay. But anyway, let's get to the next one. Um, let's see. Ooh, this one is a good one. Let's jump jump out to this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you say it's easier to get in the game than it has been in the past, do you think? Um, actually, no. Um, now it's they require more steps. We're okay. getting because at first, um, it's like it, it's easy steps to get into home care services, okay. but they require you to have more knowledge of what you're getting into. Okay. So that's basically like you know, going uh, on a site, searching the uh, Texas laws and the regulations and the standards for what you're getting yourself into because you know, you can get into it, but do you know what you're doing? That's the okay. question that they want to know. And from the past 
it, it was pretty easy for us to get in. You know, we was blessed to get in and everything, how everything started. It was a very a blessing because, you know, you have to have a survey, a surveyor have to come out and survey everything because you can also start this business from your own home. But yeah. your own home has to be secured for us because you're going to have patient files. Uh, you're going to have employees information. And all this stuff needs to be secured in a locked room. So you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to have it in my living room. No, you're right. not going to get approved. <laughs> yeah. So you got to have a actually, you know, uh, a room with a door that locks and private for when your phone rings and you're talking about patient information, it can be private. Nobody else in the home because that's uh, HIPAA. You go against HIPAA. You got to make sure you know your HIPAA laws because yeah. that can flag you. And Texas is about their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's some scary stuff right there. So you definitely want to make sure everything is secure, guys, right? So, okay. So if a person is, isn't is from Texas, um, you guys will provide them assistance with doing this in their state, correct? Because sometimes the uh, laws be the same. They kind of yeah. tweak it a little bit because like Missouri is different from here, but it's a little different. It's a certain, like they we call it home care, they call it home health care, but it's still the same. They don't yeah. consist as that as medical. We consist as non-medical and they, the same meaning mean non-medical as well. So okay. mm-hmm. uh, yes, in other states, we can pro- provide them information. Okay, so guys, if you're not in Texas, they're going to help you get it set up where you are from, make the proper connections and make sure everything is legal where you're from. Uh, if you are from Texas, they have the most experience there. So but don't get straight away if you're not from Texas, because as I said, you're going to have uh, assistance and pretty much a lot of the stuff is the same anyway. OK. All right. So let's uh, what specific licenses are required generally to start a, a PAS business or a home care service business? You got to have a, a PA. A PAS provider license, and that is provided on uh, the Texas the Texas Health and Human uh, Service Commission um, website, and you can go on there and apply for it. Cool, nice. So, just one license, then that's nice. Okay, not too many obstacles. You know, certain things that you have to do to get the license. You just can't go apply and think you're going to get it. No, it's something oh, yeah, which sure. we don't get to it in the rest yeah. of the interview. And that's what you're going to help them with on the inside of the coaching. So. Yeah, of course, guys. So, of course, you're not you can't just go and get the license and walk off, you know, just like a driver's license. You need to study for it and, you know, then go up there and make sure you qualify it and everything like that. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. so what type of insurance, uh, you know, is necessary for a PAS business? Um, You got to have worker compensation and also liability, general liability insurance. And what that is, uh, you know, work compensation is when your workers get hurt. And they have to uh, be off of work and you have to pay for their medical and, and things like that. And then the general liability insurance is just regular insurance for us. Like, say, for instance, you in a patient house, you know, in a client house and that something breaks. That okay. is covered. The house is covered. Like if you break something. OK. OK. Sounds good. Sounds good. man. OK, guys, look. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Like, you know, um, I'm trying to break you guys out of the online only um, uh, mindset. Like, you know, I love a lot of virtual businesses and everything like that, but it's certain things that can just give you a good sense of pride. And this is one of those where you can actually like reach out and touch the people that you're affecting, Pauls, right? Like you can actually like have relationships and communications with them uh, and your staff can and all of that. So she's going to show you guys like on the coaching session, how to hire the right way, uh, you know, who not to hire, how to do background checks, all of this extra stuff that's involved with the business. And she's going to outline it in a simplistic way, her and her partner that, that you guys haven't met yet. You guys will meet her, but don't hesitate. Once you see the link in the description, we got the special going on right now for you to get the coaching session with her and her partner, where you'll be able to set this up quickly um and then um you can get your first client if you have your first client already before you are licensed because some of them do have clients before they are licensed while they go through the step which like myself i had a client for a year and i eventually applied for my license and she became one of my clients which when the survey would come out to do uh like they do their paperwork uh they do their investigation for us like go over your paperwork and stuff like that make sure everything is compliant with the texas laws and um my first client and I got my, I had my first client before I had got licensed. So you can have your first client. So when you get approved, you tell them, you know, I got my first uh, client. I think you got to report your first client within six months of having your license so they can come out and do a survey. OK, but if you already got a client, you won't get in trouble, right? Uh, no, because you can you can have you can do uh, self-employment. 
I found self-employment as a person. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. But you guys wanted to get licensed. You don't want to be operating without a license. We got licensed because we wanted to, we actually saw a bigger, uh, we saw a bigger vision with this company and just self-employees. Actually, we don't had, um, in the last four years, we don't had over um, 10 clients, over 15 employees. So when you get licensed, that's when you you know you can hire people to help you with your clients and everything. Uh, okay, so to be clear, if you stay self employee, you really don't have to get a license. You really don't have to be a license. But yeah. in order to scale up, you have to get licensed. Yes. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, guys. Hey. So. So yeah. So you had ten clients and you said ten clients and what? Ten plus 15? clients. Ten plus clients over fifteen employees. And fifteen over fifteen employees before you were licensed, and but in order, you know, to scale up. No, not before I was licensed. No, I had my first client before I was licensed. Ah, okay. But okay. we saw a bigger vision. Yeah. Well, we already was gonna get licensed, but it, you know, we had to go through the steps first. Yeah. So, yeah. And then once we had went through the steps, we reported our first client, which the, we got approved for our license. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So, makes- in in order to get the license. I mean, uh, when we got our license, we start hiring, uh, but you can hire people like if you got self employment. If you step and you can hire people like, say, for you get a client that's paying you a certain amount of dollars and you, she wants 24 hours, seven days a week. You could say, Hey, such and such, can I, um, you know, pay you this amount of money a month? I mean, a, a hour to help me with this client. The check yeah. get cut to you and you just pay them. It's yeah. as long as you filing it on your taxes, you know, you could yeah. 10, you know, get, you know, 1099. So as long as you file it on your taxes, you're good. It's self-employment. So you just, re- you got to report it to the IRS, of course. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Stay out of trouble, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Should you set it up as an LLC, sole proprietorship, partnership, or corporation? What do you recommend? Um, We actually have an LLC. Okay, cool. Keep so that's what we set up eyes on. But sometimes um, people want to set theirs up on other um, business structure. And that's when the you have to get attorney for that. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So with the LLC, y'all, y'all know y'all can go to where did you go to get your LLC? Actually, I went to uh Ink Inf- Inf- File. Was it Ink Inf- Inf- File? Okay. Yeah. Ink File. All right. And they got other uh sites that got LLCs. Yeah. It's yeah. A lot of them. So <laughs> it's it's not that hard to get an LLC. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not muy difficile, but yeah, you guys will have guidance. The whole the best part about having a coach is you won't have to do the guesswork. Whatever they did, just do that. Whatever they did that worked, just do that. The stuff that they tell you that didn't work, don't do that. A lot of y'all be stubborn and, and be like, you know what? Well, I believe I should do that. Even after you didn't pay, uh, pay the coach to help you. So if you want the fastest route to success with this home care services business, then when you deal with her, when you like book with uh, Joyous Unique Care, um, just do what they tell you to do. Just do what they tell you to do. Yes. And we, uh, yes. And we also can provide them, you know, with the policies and procedures. But that would be an extra fee, of course. You know, that yeah. we we we'll provide y'all with the policy procedures and that um and that's basically, you know, you have to have the policies and procedures in your office, uh yeah. along with the Texas regulations and standards in your office. Mm-hmm. That gotta be in the office. So when state come, they wanna see that. They wanna make sure that if you got everything they you know, following the policies and procedures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we've come to number nine is, um, are there any special certifications or training required, uh, for the people watching or for the, you know, the staff to provide personal assistance? like, like CPR and all of that type of stuff. First aid kit. Like, do they have to have that type of stuff? Um, well, with the, uh, you got to have a pre-survey. You have to have a pre-survey, which is the CBT. That's the computer based training. You got to ha- take that. Okay. And, uh, also, you got to have two to run a PAS. You got to have two administration administrators. One got to be the uh, uh, administrator. One got to be the auto administrator. And they, uh, you have to take um, a course every year, every twelve months. Administration course every twelve months. Both alternate the uh, the administrator and also uh, administrator have to take the course. They both have to take it, and it's every twelve months, and it's like a hundred and. Fifty dollars that you have to pay every year for that, uh, okay, for that that's certificate. Okay. That's a that's certificate. And at the end of the uh, course, you get a certificate. So, okay. and you have to have that exposed in your office. It got to be in your office. So when state come, they want to see 
that you took that you took the um the survey and also that you took well you got to send a survey to them you got to send your survey to them showing that you took it yeah the cbt the yeah. computer based training and that's on their site that's on the texas and health uh commission site okay cool that's not bad man that's 150 bucks overhead <laughs> that's not bad for a business okay all right so uh background checks for the employees right um yes you gotta uh when that's when you start doing your hiring process you yeah. have to uh do background checks and uh they got different systems out there that you can do we own one of those uh sites where you you know you do your background check in all states and um certain certain employees like they don't have to have i require six months plus training when they go into uh when they go into these client homes because you don't want them going, you know, not knowing what they supposed to do, even though, even though I can't train them, I can train them. Yeah. So sometimes I might give a person an opportunity if they didn't have no experience, I train them one-on-one versus, yeah. you know, like taking them, uh, like actually hiring them for the client and going over yeah. there and showing them the basic stuff, what to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, but for the employees, they do have to have CPR. They got to yeah. have CPR. They got to have, uh, we do drug testing. They got to have, um, and you actually have a choice to do drug testing. But if you don't do drug testing, you have to state, state in your paperwork that we drug test or we don't drug test because they want to look at, they want to see that. State want to see that. Okay. So yeah. if you don't drug test, you got to, you don't have to drug test. That's not one of the, uh, that's not one of the policies. You, you don't have to drug test, but you have to make clear that. I don't drugs, you know, that we don't drug tests. Yeah, do you got to be transparent about it. Yeah, you got to be transparent about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want them smoking reef from around the old people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So how can I effectively market my PAS business to stand out in the market? Like, what are some ways that you guys market your business? We signed up for Kurt.com. We put our business on Kurt.com. We have a Facebook page. Um, George and Lee Care, and we also have a uh, Instagram page on the okay. George and Lee Care. Cool, cool. Okay, you, for or you can run different ads in the paper to get clients. You can do door to door word. Of, we got our clients. Some of our clients work. Um, um, word of mouth, Google my business, hmm. you know, things like that. Nice, nice. Okay, man. Okay, so guys, look, it's not a difficult business model. The business model makes sense. The business model makes money. And the business model has future security through any recession or, or, or scamdemic. Like this business model is going to be secure as long as humans are not going extinct, which they might be right. soon. But you get what I'm saying, right? So, so listen, okay, let's juicy this up. Um, she has ways to effectively help you guys market your home care service, non medical PAS business i know that was a long-winded version uh, <laughs> but for the next five of you that go to that link in the first pin comment or description of this video and get the coaching session with her i'm also going to include a positioning course for free on top of what she's going to do with the coaching session for you guys this is going to help you position it to where those clients start coming to you guys and you can combine that with the methods that she's going to show you with the outreach with the uh you know with what i'm going to give you for free and that way you guys are going to be able to masterfully scale so she's her and her partner, because her partner isn't here right now, so I keep saying here uh, she's, but they are going to make sure that you guys meet success with this. She's been doing it. They've been doing this for years now. They're not new jacks. This is not just somebody I pulled off the street. You can look them up. They're legitimate. They actually have this business and other businesses as well. So my job is to bring you guys that are legit, uh, bring you people that are legitimate, that can actually help you in business models that are interesting or profitable for you guys. This one right here can help you with your soul. And this one right here can help you with your pockets. Okay. Right. <laughs> Good deeds, blot out sins. That's what the scripture says. Right. And we're supposed to take care of the elderly. The scripture also commands us to do that as well. Not trying to put any pressure on anybody, but I'm just letting you know a business model like this. If you've ever been one of those people that read the scripture that says is harder for a rich man to get into heaven than it is for a camel to get through the eye of a needle. Yeah. Because most rich people do wicked things in order to get that way. But if you line yourself with businesses like this, then it's okay for you to get wealthy. You don't have to worry about, you know, am I sacrificing my soul in some way or another by building this business? Okay. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, then we'll get to this one right here. Okay. So like what services do you provide under a PAS 
business? Like, what do you guys do for the actual clients? Um, we do personal care assistance, uh, meal preparation, medication reminder, um, mobility assistance. We do companionships, like housekeeping, error services. We do transportation. We also uh, respite care, like help them um, temporary, like if they have having pain, you know, like give them massages and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. No happy endings though, right? <laughs> what you mean? Oh, you know those the anyway, never mind. Those adult massages dudes be going to get. But anyway. No, not massages it, like that. You know, rain I, know, I was joking. Was I meant joke. to say I meant to say rain or motions, like um yeah. get them to like do they like exercise their arms, they legs. And, yeah. You know, that's for patients that in the bed all the time and stuff like that. Yeah, I was just messing with you, okay? <laughs> I was just messing with y'all, you know. <laughs> I don't do no happy endings, okay? All right, so, all right, so the good thing about this, guys, is you'll be over a legitimate business. Uh, you can remain behind the shadows, or you can get involved like she does and her and her partner does. Uh, she's going to show you how to hire people that will go out to these clients and everything. You'll be able to even hire people to go out and do the, the networking if you want to be hands-off with a lot of this stuff. Yes. Guys. Yes. There's literally no excuse for you guys that are business-minded and open-hearted to pass up on a, a cheap $97 coaching session with her and her partner and get your business set up, start getting clients on top. Remember the bonus that I'm going to give you guys on top of the coaching session that you're going to get with her. They're not going to hold anything back. She didn't hold anything back in this interview right here, but they're not going to hold anything back about the steps to get started. Uh, you're going to, you're going to, by the end of the coaching session, you're going to know exactly how to go and set everything up and start getting paying clients, okay? Is it anything you wanted to say before we make an exodus? Follow me on um, Instagram and Facebook and under George Unique Care, Home Care Services. Okay. You'll see us with the scope, the little scope logo. You'll see the little scope logo. Test yeah, scope. Yeah, we'll put that in the pinned area as well in the description as well so you can go and follow her and her partner on their social medias and everything. I Look, I don't, I, I don't like to be salesy, y'all, you know, but when it's uh, an opportunity, because I see a lot of you guys, I see y'all, you know, mm -hmm. and, and y'all, uh, a lot of y'all on every video, a lot of y'all are going to watch other people's video. You'll tell me, hey, David, I watch this other person's video and they're doing this. I like that business model. If you want to stop hopping around, actually be a part of something bigger than yourself, be happy, be proud That's when you don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can tell people you know, uh, what you actually do for a living and, and feel good about it. You understand what I'm saying? You can sleep good at night and you can sleep good knowing that your wallet is getting fatter or that's old school. Your your bank account is, is growing, right? So, you know, go ahead and take the opportunity to get this coaching while it's only 97 because it's going to get higher. You guys are going to start seeing a lot more of her. Next time you'll get to meet her partner as well. You don't want to be part of the squad that saw this video and then the prices are different later. And then you start seeing all these. You see these testimonials I keep dropping on the channel, right? My prices increased and people was like, man, I wish I got into your coaching program back when they got in. I want you guys to not be one of those people. Don't look at the suggested section and look at what next video you're going to watch right now. Grow up. No offense. Take the time to get on this coaching session. Take the steps to set up this business, even if you have other businesses. She has other businesses, too. This would be a perfect business to put into your portfolio, guys. It's not expensive to set up. It's not difficult to set up. And it's awesome, an awesome way to make a living while making a killing.